Uh, hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about uh, two subtopics in the uh, part of planes for 3D geometry uh, and the two topics we will be discussing will be angle between two planes and family of planes. In the last video we uh, discussed the equation of planes and what is the normal vector uh, and what is the intercept form and things like that. Here from one plane we will be starting to now go into two planes. Uh, I think it is again easy if you understand vectors very well. Uh, so, as we will go and we will go into the topic of angle between two planes, you will realize that a knowledge of uh, vectors is important and again I will keep coming back to the basics. Please focus on the basics of understanding the topic uh, and that will really help you in problem solving. So, for angle between two planes I mean it is probably very easy uh, for you to imagine if there are two planes let us say. Uh, and the other plane is like this. So, this is uh, P 2 let us say and this is P 1 uh, P 1. So, P 1 is plane P uh, 1 and P 2 is plane P 2 uh, and the there are two normals here. Uh, so, the angle between them uh, is let us say here theta. Uh, so, you can imagine that the angle between their normals would also be theta. So, this would be n 1 and this would be n 2. So, it is easy for you to imagine that if there are two things and if there are normal uh, two, two, two of those the angle between the normals will be the angle between the uh, planes. And how will you find angle between two vectors if you know the planes if you know the vectors dot product as soon as I say this it should be not dot product. We have discussed this so many times in our videos that whenever you think of angle dot product. So, cos theta is n 1 n 2 divided by mod of n 1 mod of n 2 ok. This should be very very quick for you to uh, remember. So, let us quickly do a problem so that you get an idea. So, uh, Let's, uh, so, the two places. So, P 1 is given for uh, given to us as x minus y plus 2 z is equal to 2 and P 2 uh, is x plus y is equal to 0 ok. So, now we have been asked to find cos theta. So, what is n 1? n 1 is i cap minus j cap plus 2 k cap and n 2 is i cap plus j cap. So, if you do cos theta it will come out to be 0 or theta is equal to 90 degrees ok. Theta is equal to 90 degrees. So, uh, I hope now you are able to understand how we find the normal vectors just take the coefficients that is the normal vector and then how to take dot you can quickly take dot and you can find either perpendicular vectors. Uh, so, while we are on the topic of perpendicular vectors let us just also discuss if we have two parallel planes. So, perpendicular planes the dot products will be 0. If we have parallel planes let us say if you have parallel planes. So, you can imagine that parallel planes if there are two planes let us say P 1. So, this was uh, one problem I hope this made sense. So, if you have parallel planes uh, how what, what should cos theta? cos theta should be theta should be 0 and cos theta should be 1. Uh, in other words n 1 and n 2 should be the same basically. So, you, you can imagine that two parallel planes would be something like this. Right. So, this should be pretty obvious for you to understand. Now, how do we let us say we have been given a simple problem find a plane equation of a plane parallel to 3 x plus 4 y plus 5 z equal to 7 and passing through and containing 1 1 1 and containing the point 1 comma 1 comma 1. 
So the quick way to understand this uh, is to say that the equation of a plane which is parallel would be something like 3x plus 4y plus 5z equal to d2 right. This is what we have already discussed and how to evaluate the value of d2 or d or whatever you want to call this is that you will it should pass through 1 1 1 so you can find the value of d2 and that will make it 3x plus 4y plus 5 is equal to 12. So this will then pass through the point 1 1 1 because it can satisfy the point. So I mean this was just a very quick introduction of understanding how angle between two planes work if they are perpendicular or something else you have to find n1 not and n2 by modern one bond n2 uh, and if it is 0 it is the angle is 90 if there are parallel planes then uh, uh, the thing is that the a the coefficients of the plane will remain the same uh, and just I just gave you an example of what kind of questions might come similar to this. So now let us go to family of planes so family of planes uh, family of planes is very similar to family of straight lines and what it means is that let us say you have two planes P1 and P2 family of planes means are all the planes uh, <coughs> passing through the intersection of P1 and P2. So what does this mean is that I hope you are able to see this line here this line is the, the common line between the two planes. So all the planes which you have this common line are represented in this family of plane and the equation for them is called as P1 equation I will discuss this in a little more detail is P1 plus lambda P2 very similar to the straight lines concept. So let us say if you have a P1 is a1x plus b1y plus c1z minus d1 equal to 0 and p2 is a2x plus b2y plus c2z minus d2 equal to 0. Then the family of plane uh, would be uh, p would be p1 or a1x plus b1y plus c1z minus d1 plus lambda into a2x plus v2y plus c2z minus d2 equal to 0. This is how all the planes would be like and p1 plus lambda p2 equal to 0. So I mean this is how you should think about the problems whenever problems come into this kind of form uh, and I can Im tell you that just sometimes not understanding this basic concept can make things much more difficult for you it is very easy but people sometimes are not able to like very quickly understand what it means and how to apply it. So let us do a problem on, uh, on this the question says that find a plane find a plane perpendicular to 2x plus 3y minus 4z plus 8 equal to 0 and that passes through the intersection through the intersection of x plus y plus z is equal to 3 and 2x plus y plus z is equal to 4. Okay. So now how will you do a problem like this when you have been given two things. So I mean approach is very important. So as soon as you see this you see that the plane passes through the intersection of these two planes. So it is one of the one of the planes where lambda is some real value and you have to find the value of lambda uh, and that is the whole uh, point. So if lambda for I mean I did not go into details but if lambda is 0 
if we get plane 1 uh, if lambda is let us say lambda is infinity in that sense 1 by lambda p 1 by lambda becomes 0. So, p 2 is so all the planes between these two planes will have some value of lambda now that is that is the value you have to find. So, you know that the we have been given planes like this. So, the equation that you have to find is something like x plus y plus x plus y plus z minus 3 plus lambda times 2 x plus y plus z minus 4 equal to 0 right. Now, the special property of this plane is that this is perpendicular to 2 x plus 3 y minus 4 z. So, what do you do perpendicular planes angle between two planes dot product should be 0 or n n 1 dot n 2 should be 0. What is n 1 here n 1 here is 1 plus 2 lambda plus i cap plus uh, 1 plus lambda j cap plus 1 plus lambda k cap is n 1 and n 2 vector uh, is 2 i cap plus 3 j cap minus 4 k cap just taking the coefficients of x y and z are the uh, values of n 1 and n 2 and you can find value of lambda such that find lambda such that n 1 dot n 2 equal to 0 and then you can get the answer for the plane. Uh, so, just to tell you you will get lambda equal to minus 1 by 3 you can check and then you can put in this equation to get the value uh, and uh, it should be pretty straightforward from here. So, I mean the again the you should really understand the idea here what is what what is that we are trying to uh, really learn here and the idea is to if you see some two planes through and you have to find a plane which is passing through that plane uh, those two planes intersection of those two planes then you just take the family of plane and that find that value of lambda using a special property which will always be given to you. In this case that was the fact that it was they were two perpendicular planes. So, we covered quite a lot in this uh, video uh, and I hope that you got a feel of clearly how to find angle between two planes always take a dot product between their normals uh, and then how to do family of plane type questions where uh, if there are two planes and if you want to find a plane passing through the intersection of those two planes you take a p 1 plus lambda p 2 type form and then you solve the value of lambda using a property that will be given to you uh, in some form ok. So, I hope this video was useful uh, in the next video uh, we will be talking about more interesting topic related to planes. Uh, so, see you next time thank you.